Good morning, Krusty Crew. Can that be my intro? Um, ooh, you guys are getting a lot of forehead today. It's okay. It's because I left my hair straightener in Texas, so I can't fix my hair. So it's 10.30 on Friday, and I thought, what? Well, that's a perfect time to start a studio vlog. I am about to kind of go through my planner, move things around, and plan my weekend out, but I know that I have some orders I need to finish up. I want to try and develop a couple new products. I need to, first of all, clean my desk. That's on the agenda today. And before any of that, I need to go to the post office, which is always a fun journey. I should really get going because I dislike being on the train when it's too crowded. So I'm gonna put it all in this and then we're going to head out ASAP. Let's go on this lovely journey. Also, it's like 60 degrees today. I think I'm just gonna wear this a cardigan. I'm also sporting my own spoopy shirt with this cute little witchy girl. Cause in my mind, March is Halloween season already. I take like a bag full like this just about every time I go to the post office. So I'm kind of slow sometimes. It's cause I, I have to carry them all myself. I don't have a car. I can't take multiple trips into the post office from my car. understand what was buzzing because like I was holding my phone but it's my Pokemon Go Plus. Bummer. Anyway I always bring this with me when I'm walking around. My H Mart carries these. These are like my favorite chips. I usually like order them from Walmart. So I guess I have dinner made. Next step is to kind of clear this up a bit. Actually I have only had a cheese stick today so I'll probably make lunch first. Okay, the next order of business is to tackle the mess that is my desk. It's definitely better now. I never like fully organize it. Just like needed to make space. I'm just gonna focus on making, like there's a few outstanding orders. I'm just gonna really try to get as far as I can for a few hours and also hopefully get up some B grades for like the Mareep Evolution line pins because I'm like running out of the shiny versions and so it's about time to put up the B grades for those. Plus they're just sitting around and it's so many pins sitting around my apartment. Okay, so I now have my LaCroix. Feel free to make fun of me for liking LaCroix. I hated it for many years, so I understand the hate. But then Sonia, I think, turned me on to the peach pear flavor, and now I'm just a bitch for LaCroix. And it was on sale when I went to Target in the East Village, which is a sentence I never thought I'd say when I moved here. So I have this week's list of products going. I have crossed some things off as you can see. I'm going to try to tackle several different things from this list and go.
so it's 340, so that took longer than I wanted. But that just means that it is now time for coffee. <laughs> just having coffee with JFK. So it is now 6.10 and I'm just having a slow, slow day. So I think I'm going to put some rice on. I probably won't keep sewing because the faces of those Driftloom plushies have to dry. Also fanny pack and tote bag. I really want to see if I can research and develop a pattern for a fanny pack because I want one for myself, which has always been my best motivator for making something. Well, I might set up my phone while I sketch, but first it's time for dinner. Those are my friends. It's night now, it's really dark. I'm facing the other direction. I might do some sketching and planning tonight. Hopefully tonight I can come up with a strategy for the fanny pack. Maybe we can tackle that together tomorrow. I'm really excited and kind of determined. All right, guys. Clank. And I'll see you tomorrow. Also, Saturday morning, Anastasia, did you dye your hair like you were planning to? <laughs> Let's find out. Good morning again. It is Saturday the 16th. It's like 10.15. No, it's 10.01. It's 10 a.m. And I like didn't sleep last night, so my eyes are quite puffy right now. But what I did do last night was I re-dyed my hair. And I used up the last of my Pravana like or vivid orange tube. So I think I might get some overtone and see how I like that and see if it makes it easier for me to like upkeep it. So if any of you guys have used overtone, let me know. So I didn't end up really doing any planning last night. I just kind of zoned out and played games and dyed my hair. This morning, I'm gonna catch up on some of that. Fanny pack is still at the front of my mind. I really wanna see if I can work on that later today. So yeah, that's my plan for t today. I'm just gonna finish my coffee here. I think my drafting process for a new pattern is probably not very admirable. 
<laughs> don't emulate me, but I kind of just like doodle the thing that I want to make like as a way to like conceptualize in my brain like where like what kind of pieces I might need and then I just kind of like go at it and test with a bunch of like old printer paper or scrap paper. It's been a little while since I made something new and that bums me out so I just really want to accomplish this thing that I've wanted to do for myself for a long time so that's what we're gonna do. Like the dilemma I run into with purses a lot of the time is that the cost of me personally sewing them, like the time, makes it an expensive product. I don't know, maybe this is a good opportunity to finally manufacture something. Like, I don't know. Would you wanna pay like $60 for a fanny pack? I know people pay like way more, but like, like how much does a Supreme fanny pack cost? Yeah, like one to several hundreds of dollars. I have to decide what's the best way to go about it. Cause I really like making bags, but I think the cost of having like a wide variety of bags is really preventing me from going all in. So maybe today will also involve some manufacturer research. Let's give this a shot, why don't we? Related, I thought I'd do this before I moved on completely and like cleared off my desk so that I could draft stuff. I think it was in the montage yesterday, but it probably got glossed over or like wasn't perfectly in frame. So I just wanted to really quick show how I make my own fabric tags. So I print my own fabric tags and this is what I currently have. It's just like printable fabric. The example they have an incredible tote bag. I wonder if some intern decided to troll and use this image, but they're really easy to use. Basically, you literally just print it onto the fabric and then let it dry for a while. It's all linty, but it prints out kind of a sheet of tags, which I designed in Photoshop, just basically decided what size I wanted to do. After they dry, I cut them out along the line until they look like these little strips. I go around the edge with fray check. I will fold it in half and stitch along this line. I just go along the top so that it's a whole little tag and then I have a tag. I can sew it into plush toys. I usually just do it on purses because it's a lot of work and they're very large and I don't know, I don't care about having them on all my toys. Maybe I can like link the printable fabric that I use in the bottom. The tricks of the trade. Okay, so I've kind of drafted, this one's not quite done, but I've kind of drafted like two different basic like fanny pack shapes. I'm gonna flush out this one a little more and then I think I'm gonna use, I have a lot of fabric that doesn't get used. So I'm gonna just test them on a bad fabric and then I'll work on like figuring out like lining and zippers and stuff like that. Just like to make sure that the shape works first. Okay, I just took a break from eating and sewing to quick film a video. I had to change shirts afterwards cause I was quite hot. Finishing my second cup of coffee for the day and now I'm just gonna launch into this thing, these fanny packs. And once I'm bored with that, I'll probably just start sewing some orders and just go for it. <sighs> so I've been working on it a little while and I've found that I, I think I'm gonna wait because the zippers I have are just too small for the size I want it to be. So I'm just gonna put it on hold and then in the meantime, maybe do some research of manufacturers that might be able to do it, it for me. And right now I'm going to just get back to sewing orders. Okay, I just have a lot of orders and it's kind of distracting me from really feeling invested and in trying something new today. So maybe I'll see how I feel tomorrow, but this is kind of, um, I don't know, just like the pressure that I feel from this kind of stuff. It's kind of hard to balance beyond just like how to structure my time. Even if I have time, I'll still feel like I should be making orders, which is kind of how I get into the cycle of not making as much newer plush as I want, but we'll see how the day goes.
I uh, definitely could redo that a little. So I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but kind of the way that I organize uh, stuff after I've cut it out uh, before I sew it is I put it in these plastic bags and I can just like line them up in a box, but this is my advanced storage technique. It also is a good way to like reuse bags from like, this one I think is from like fabric.com or like from my pin manufacturer. So when the time comes, I just dump them out and I get to sewing as I'm about to do. Okay, I just did that for several hours. It is now five and uh, the sun is setting. I'm fading a teeny bit. It's definitely time for dinner. Dinner. I just have some leftover like tuna and rice and I put some seaweed salad in it. A perfect weeaboo dinner. Hey guys, good morning. It's technically Monday, but I wanted to sign off the video here. And first of all, say thank you guys for joining me on this weekend. I did not film very much yesterday because on Saturday I started getting really frustrated. Blah, 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 blah. I was getting frustrated with the fanny pack. I was getting frustrated with some shirt designs I was trying to do. And then I had quick filmed a video the Artist Alley Q&A. And when I uploaded it to my computer, there were so many problems with the footage and there's been problems with footage of every video that I've tried to make, which is something that's keeping me from uploading as often as I literally could be. So I kind of had a low key Sunday. I did finish those two Drifloom purses that you guys kind of went through the whole process with me. I finished a Mimi Q, I finished a Shinso, a couple other products and I packaged some stuff. I finally shot photos for the B grade listings for the Marie Evolution line. I didn't want it to get too long because it's already pretty long because there's just a lot of sewing montage and there's a lot of sewing montage that I cut out. But if you guys really enjoy that, let me know. I can always add more in because literally I'm sitting there for hours. I just don't want the vlog to get like insanely long. I think going forward, I'm going to try to do more of like a whole week and have shorter snippets but I just wanted to put something up instead of nothing because, you know, this weekend was as good a weekend as any to start. Happy Monday, and I'll probably see you later tonight.